on an all-new special episode of The Potentialists. We want to teach people in these episodes. My dad is one of the top three motivational speakers in the world. My house is never empty. We're showing our moments, we're showing our lives. I want to get the show on TV. I love the show. There's no privacy. <laughs> My family's crazy. There are so many shows out there, but there's none that have Latinos. If we keep doing what we're doing, there's going to be a major difference. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. Hi, my name is Bert Oliva, and I'm a Cuban. <laughs> my name is Alexa. I am Colombian. I'm the marketing crusader at Boa World. We want to teach people in these episodes. Boa World is a lifestyle. It's a place where you go to build a strong family. And if you already have a strong family, we make it stronger. A place where you can acquire incredible amount of knowledge, but not just through me, but through someone in the team. Boa World started as a vision of Bert's. He wanted to help change the lives of 100 million people in a positive way during his lifetime. And I thought, oh my God, this guy's out of his mind. But no, he has a passion for people and he has a passion for helping children. I love people. Be able to change other people's lives. That's really what I'm here for. I figured that out when I was really young and a lot of people take a lot of time. In fact, some 40 year olds don't know what they want to do in life. And my goal is to be able to go out there and be able to find these people at, a, at whatever their age is and letting them know that nothing is impossible. Anything and everything they want to do is possible. My job during the events is to make sure the team is doing everything and then I'm also in charge of the sound booth. When I am behind the sound booth and setting up the events and everything, I'm in my moment. I'm living my moment. I'm living my passion. And I want to do that till the day I die. I get to hear and see people's reactions. And I hear their comments behind the stage. Bert Oliva has just blown my mind. He is awesome. I think it's very inspirational. Make it happen. Right now, why don't you make it happen? Yeah, I'm making it happen with the potential. And I feel what people are going through and all the different emotions they're going through. And for me, that's a high. There's no high like that. When I'm in front of an audience, you see that they're interacting with you and they're actually taking in the message. Then there's this one moment where there's a connection. That's when the magic starts happening. To be able to connect with the audience and know that you're touching many lives. Then they come back to you and say, you know what, Bert, it really changed my life. That to me is the best payment I can ever get. And I know that it's not something that I'm doing by myself. Every single person in my team is gifted and is tapping into their potential. They will be able to make a major dent to better people and better our world as we know it. I'm so passionate about it because I've been doing it for so long. All we do is either family time or seminar. We've actually put them together where I traveled around the country doing a tour, going from place to place, speaking with the children. So we do the family time as we're touring the, the country. One of my biggest passions in this world is traveling. I've been around the world, but there's still a lot more world to see. That's one of the reasons I love Boa World is because we always have an opportunity. We get to travel. What we call them is workation. We'll go work for two or three days, and then afterwards we'll stay for another extra two or three days. This ride, I'm sorry, it's not We this are in Venezuela and kind of explore around and submerge ourselves in the culture. The big one there, the 600s are in the bottom and then 980 up there. Yeah. And have fun, dance, drink, eat. Our first gelato, first thing we ate in Venice and Mm. Tastes delicious. Eating around the world is very good. I love connecting with people. I love spending time and dancing and going to the beach and I love all that stuff. I think that's living life. A lot of people don't live. They miss that part. They're born, they don't live, and then they die. And my goal is to be able to go out there and tell the world how much potential they all have and how many things they can do to really live. How many people in the audience right now think they're different and they're special? Raise your hand and say yes. Yeah. And guess what, you're right. And make a difference, leave a legacy. All right, brief bio, um, let's see, I'm 20 year old, so I doesn't go back that far. What happened in my life that I can talk about?
I'm Valerie. I'm the Boa Crybaby. I do the computer stuff. Nobody wants to do it. Anybody else can do it. All you have to do is Google. My phone has been keeping track of where I go. It even says, how do I spend my time? And countries visited. That's creepy. If anybody happens to actually know how to delete this, let me know. But for whatever reason, I'm stuck doing it. It sucks. I am an introvert. I like to be behind a computer, behind everything, and I don't ever need the spotlight. That's why I like computers. That's why I like technical things. I'm behind something. Why am I in front of the camera right now? I am one of the most sheltered people you will ever freaking meet. I spent 13 years of my life going to parochial schools, one of which was an all-girl high school. The Boa family has helped me break out of my shell. Little by little, they're pushing me to have much more experiences. <laughs> God, they have a lot of patience to deal with me because I can be a pain in the ass. No, a no, bitch? No. <laughs> I was gonna say that, yeah. Yeah, a little bitch, a little yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh -huh. My name's Eric. I am a reluctant Texan. If you go to Texas though, the good thing is you can flash your Texas pride card if you're not from Texas. You're not a real Texan. I grew up in Florida. I make up the 0.01% of the white people that live in Miami. Alexa calls me her evil twin because we have a bit of a irreverent sense of humor. I'm usually playing roller hockey. I play goalie. People think I think that's strange that I would want to stand between a disc that flies like at 70, 80 miles an hour and try and block this thing. What it is I love about it is that you get to be the guy that is the one you have to depend on no matter what. You get to be at the end of the day the hero or the ghost. So it's that pressure to perform that drives me and makes me want to push myself further. According to Boa, I'm extremely confused. They don't think I'm gay, which is interesting because I don't know how to prove to them that I am. So. <laughs>
The places we've been because of my father's work is awesome. We get to travel the world, get to meet different people, interesting people. Okay, let's go. I love my dad. My dad's a homeboy. I mean, my dad is always there when I have drop. He'll make me my own little seminar in like half an hour. I'll be like, okay, you got it? Yeah. Miles and I are like, we're close. We'll go out together, but like we just won't talk to each other until like after. And then we'll be like, whoa. My little brother, I don't really talk to him a lot, but when we do, like it's always like, oh, hey, hey, Sabi, hey, D-boy, how are you? Love you, okay, see you later. Like it's like quick with my little brother because he's always saving the planet upstairs. My little dog, Oliver. <laughs> He's like a brother to me because I got him since he was born. Oh my god. Oliver and Olivia remind me of me and Raj. All we do is fight. LJ is my no breast chicken. Eric is my Herrick. Valerie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna come up with nothing with her. My bubble family is awesome because they're always pushing me to grow. I am constantly working on myself and trying to improve myself. Any challenge you face, anything that you have to do, if you just change your viewpoint to really think that this is something I want to do and I want to do it for me, it suddenly becomes fun and easy and you'll do it amazingly well. The bubble family is awesome for so many things, but for me personally, what it is is my family moved away in the last year. I've sort of latched on. They've been loving enough and just they're awesome. To let me sort of, oh, hey, I can tag along. Hi, I'm here. I'm hanging out with you guys. My, I like a family. I don't think that's on the right, but um, I don't know. Everything's been weird. They work too much. Our first presentation is going to be tomorrow morning. On the first presentation, we're in the same place for the second presentation. Yeah. So we're not moving. My, I like a family. I mean, hey, I'm, I'm not going to call that. My, I like a family. I never had really a very big family because my parents were immigrants and they came here by themselves. There's a lot of things you don't understand when you come to another country. You know, being firstborns of immigrants, you kind of got to figure it out for yourself. You don't really have a mentor or a family or anybody that can give you advice. Uh -huh. yeah, I didn't so you figure it out. Yeah. And since we came from families where sometimes you needed help, you have to give back to get to a certain level. We have this special family unity. When you're part of our team, we include you and we treat you like you're just one of our own. I am really blessed to be with the people that I am with today. I've acquired more than the family. When you are in my circle, you are part of something that I never want to let go of anymore. My house is amazing. <laughs> the ball house is ridiculously crazy. My house is never empty. People, 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 people. There's people everywhere here. Good morning, Vietnam. Who are you talking to? Uh, the dog. Oh, okay. Well, what's up, Sergio? Nothing what, what, bro. I'm with stupid. Which I would wear in 95 degree weather. I'm trying to explain to you guys what, what the hell you're watching. What they're watching is a snippet in the lives of your average everyday person that have chosen to live their lives to their fullest potential. That's pretty much it. And you're gonna meet a lot of people like Sabrina, Sabrina and Roger. And look, 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 look. We have so many different characters in this one video. The chaos in one second. All of a sudden we were quiet, just me and you, and look at that, in a, in a heartbeat. Look how many people came out when they were out of the room. You know how like when you're sleepy and like you don't feel like putting on full pants, you wanna go out, you wanna get a glass of milk? No, never happens. You have to get fully dressed and do this whole thing to go outside. <laughs> During the afternoon is like a good minimum 10, 11 people in the whole house, all the time. Never alone, ever. <laughs> he, he sees us. Can we open the door? What's up? Open it. Ready? No. Surprise! <laughs> It's crazy how you can just walk in from one room to another and how the energy just changes completely. One second you laugh in one room. What is a big number? Like a person who has the ability of making well, this is not gonna, that's not the right time to do it, but I'll have to finish it now. A person who has the ability of making a penis rise out of the pants without touching it. <laughs> I was sick to her! <laughs> and the next second they're talking about a million dollar business deal. We're an international sales and marketing organization representing a worldwide talent by the name of Bert Oliva. Whenever I'm bored, I just come in and I'll find something to do because there's so many people to interact with. Let's go mess with Eric and LJ. Tell me stop. Oh, God. No, there, 
there's almost certainly gonna be some tissue damage here. One more, one more squish. One more. Again. Let's go annoy mom. Just driving on the highway for the first time. At night. Sabrina, How do you expect you... me to get better? Exactly. <laughs> She's gonna have to drive at night on the expressway yeah, had... someday. Wait, 70? 70! No, slow down! 70! I'm not way too hard. No, no. If you scream, people, please. Keep her on 55. Talk to dad. Grab Valerie's butt. <laughs> Mess with Big Papa. Savvy and Infinite Wisdom wanted to give me hair. So this is a new product for all you people that are follically challenged. As you can see, now you can have hair. Oh, jeez. And a unibrow. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put me by an open flame. I might spontaneously put <laughs> There's always something to do. So it's like you're never bored. I don't know. It's just not like a normal house. Like when I go to my friend's house, it's like, wow. How boring. <laughs> like, when it's just like the mom, the dad, and the, the kid, it's like, dude, like, horrible. I don't know. I guess I'm so used to so many people around me. It's loud. It's too loud to think sometimes. I'm here at Boa because it's like working at Google. I get to make sales in the morning. Think, how are you doing? I'm doing great, Laura. Barbecue in the afternoon. Bam! Better like my food. You want the original copy? Go to Instagram. <laughs> Ride Harleys in the evening with my friend Bert. And then at nighttime, I get to hang out and have another party. I love it here. Why would I want to go anywhere else? I had this quote that I used to say that people come into your life for a season, a reason, and a lifetime. And my goal is to break that. It should be a lifetime no matter what. Maybe not the same level, but we should always stay connected. I truly believe that we're all like-minded individuals and we're here for a bigger purpose. Bigger than we even have an idea of what it is we're doing sometimes. Sometimes we don't know what we're doing, but we feel it in our hearts. And guess what? When you feel it there, this, it's for a reason. The potential is reality show. It's evolving as we evolve. And the show is about people that are hungry. My treatment's almost ready and that'll tell you specifically how the show is going to be formatted. Monday through Friday, we put on a show every single day online. I want to get the show on TV. The show is awesome because it's real. We're showing our moments, we're showing our lives. It's not scripted, it's not made up. It's just how we're living every day. We have so many different people, characters in our group. It's always someone that you can say, oh, that person's similar to me. Oh, I do that too. You get to see the different personalities and how they interact with each other. How you can have one person that speaks in front of many other people but also in the same crew, how somebody who is too shy to speak in front of that many people. There are so many shows out there, but there's none that have Latinos. We have Cubans, we have Puerto Ricans, we have Peruvians, we have Colombians. We're so diverse that we're tapping into a larger market. We have Americans, we have black, we have white, we have all kinds, this multicultural thing, which I think represents what Miami is about. And Miami is such an important city nowadays in this world because it's so multicultural. So many different things come from having a cultural knowledge. And I love to I stress that to my family all the time. That's why we travel together. We're like the new age partridge family, I call it all the time. If they're out of school, they're jumping on the RV with us or on a plane with us or on a train with us and it doesn't matter and we're just going all over the place. What other place do you know where you can work with people that you absolutely love are out of their freaking minds and yet have a bunch of fun? I love this show. Is that how interesting it is? What do you think about this show? There's no privacy! Hey, hey, hey. Mostly crazy. Better than Jersey Shore. Oh my god. Oh, I saw you picking your wedgie at, in, in the living room at 6.05. Yeah, pretty bad. They're funny and sometimes stupid. You're in the <laughs> way. <laughs> it's real. We're teasing LJ, we're teasing LJ. <laughs> We're running across the street naked, we're running across the street naked. What just happened? My favorite part of the Mexico video is when I jumped in with the camera into a huge sinkhole filled with water. That was my camera and I asked for it because I always wanted a waterproof camera. It's shockproof, waterproof, dustproof, and freezeproof. It is kid proof. One of the most interesting episodes that we had so far is when I crashed the Celica because of how much response we got from it. 
I love response. It gives me money. I love money. Money comes to me. I'm a magnet. Guess what I have in my hand, Andre? A check. <laughs> Guess from what? Google. So for all the haters that were commenting on my video saying, oh, you're an idiot for crashing your car, I'm making money. I'm making money off of you guys commenting. Did you hear that? We're YouTube partners now. And we get paid. Wait, 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 wait. wait, 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 wait. We just made money. Ah! I mean, and make no mistake, we are doing it to earn a great living and live a great quality of life because no one says that you have to be poor in the process of changing people's lives. However, that's not the main part of it. I want the show to expand. I want people to see how we live our life, how we actually use my father's techniques in, in our life. I know that what we're doing is right, and I know what we're doing will make a difference. I really want to make this happen. The potential is, it's in my blood right now. I want to finish developing this. I want to get everything right. I want to be able to take it and sell it and just make it the next hit. I want to be the next Jersey Shore, Kardashians, you know. But I want it to be different. This reality show is about showing people that you can live a fruitful life. The main part of it is to leave a legacy. We need to do something bigger than us. We're gonna be able to do that. People that would never look at us are now paying attention. And eventually, if we keep doing what we're doing, there's gonna be a major difference. Hey, yo, how you doing? Check this out, it's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment and check this out. If you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowler World. Feel me?